There will be a final squad of 25 that will be travelling to Johannesburg and Zambia, depending COVID tests and, and injuries. So we'll, we'll make the final call on, on Wednesday. We'll be travelling to South Africa on, on Thursday, which is the 10th of uh, February, and uh, return to Ventuk on the 23rd of, of, uh, of February as well, after playing those two matches. And uh, would like to add that victorious and qualified for the Af African Women Cup of Nations that will be hosted in Morocco. Announcing his 30 women's squad for the Zambia Clash, kicking off in less than two weeks' time, interim head coach of the Brave Gladiators who led the team to a strong show when they defeated Tanzania to two legs, showed confidence in his selected squad as he assured that the country will qualify for the showpiece in July. Nobody gave us a chance against the Kosafa champions of 2021. And... And we took them to the sword. And if somebody thought that the, the away game in, in Dar es Salaam was a fluke, we repeated that in, in Johannesburg. So we are, we, are, we are building up from that. And uh, despite, and we have difficulties, and we need to be honest and be open about it. Um, uh, the girls uh, not being paid, and it was, it, was, um, it, was, it was highlighted in the media. But we said, girls, we brought ourselves here. Why stop now? Because of... Uh, things that, that will uh, get better. So, so my, my, uh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by the response we got. The, the girls came in, uh, came, in, came in leaps and bounds, and, it, and despite the, the, the difficulties that they are facing, and all of us are facing, we, we managed to pull through, and that's why we're here today. So we are looking forward to a, a battle, but that's what Namibians are renowned for. We are, we, are, we are renowned for battles. We are renowned for, and that's why we are called the land of the brave. We're not called the land of the brave for nothing. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I take a lot of heart from the girls and the way they, f they fought Tanzania. And I know that it's not going to be any different in Zambia. Um, we know that we are facing a tough, formidable opponent. And you saw that they win at the Olympics. You saw that they, uh, how, how they performed. They beat us in, in Kosafa. But we've studied them. And uh, it's going to be a different ball game because here everything is at stake. The interim coach further touched on the new changes made to his technical team as well as preparation leading up to the clash. The response when, 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 we, when we gave the call uh, to start informally, informally and uh, we, we invited the girls to, to, to the first training camp and to the subsequent uh, trials, um, it was overwhelming. It has, it, it has been work in progress. We played a few friendly matches against against our male counterparts uh, under 15, under 17. We are happy with what we are seeing. It's not yet vintage. It's not yet um, the ideal preparation that, or, or, or condition that we need to be in. But I, I, I believe that uh, we have a team that on any given day, if, if uh, uh, they, can, they, can, they can rise to the occasion. There's a few um, new additions to the, to the technical team. Mm -hmm. And one of them being uh, the new team manager and a former captain of the from a captain of the, of the Brave Gladiators in Stacey Naris. She's now the new team manager of the team, um, as well as uh, Dina Shitula. She, they'll be doubling up as, as, as team managers, as well as Robert Nosep uh, is also a new addition to the team. I know that he's been with the Brave Warriors, but his knowledge of the, of the, of the girls' team as being the pre, uh, previous coach of the Gladiators as well. So he'll be first assistant. St uh, second assistant will still be Mami Kasona. And then also uh, a former player as well, um, and Lydia Eichas, she'll be handling the, the kit and equipment together with uh, Lydia Hartzenberg. The Brave Gladiators will face Zambia on the 15th of February in their first leg at the Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka, followed by the second leg on the 22nd of February in South Africa.